Hi, in this video I'll explain about x-rays and how they are produced. This is part one of the video. We take a tube and we vacuum it so that there is no air inside. That helps in avoiding any collision with particles like electrons. So on the left hand side you can see a green looking plate which is the cathode which would be negatively charged and the electrons are repelled by the negatively charged plate and they travel towards the orange plate on the other side which is positively charged. The orange plate attracts the electrons and that's why you get the electrons moving from one plate to the other. Once you have done that we look at the electrical part of it so you can see an electric source in this image uh, with some circuitry, we will not go into that now. The negative terminal is connected to the left hand side plate uh, and the positive terminal of that source is connected to the right hand side plate. So this is another representation to help you imagine how the electrons are repelled by the negative plate and attracted towards the positive plate. I hope that makes sense. The other way to drive the electrons out of that negatively charged cathode is to simply heat the cathode. So you can see a cylinder at the bottom and some flame coming out of it. This is just a representation to show that we must heat the cathode. That will increase the kinetic energy of the electrons of the cathode and when we give the negative charge they will come out of that cathode more easily and travel like a bullet towards the right hand side plate. In summary, in order to get the x-rays out of that tungsten anode, we need to shoot the electrons like bullets with very high energy and very high velocity. Therefore, we used two methods. One, we gave a very high negative potential to the cathode and on the other side, we gave a very high positive potential to the tungsten anode. Using that, we attracted the electrons. The second thing that we did was to heat the cathode, get the electrons out of it. Let's look at an animation once again. It has all the elements in this one picture. You have the heater below the cathode plate. You have the plate itself, the green looking cathode plate. And it drives the electrons with a very high energy and velocity towards the other orange colored plate which uh, is made of tungsten material and which we are calling as anode and the x-rays come out of that tungsten plate. Now why tungsten? That's because it's a heavy metal. Its uh, atomic number is 74 which means it's got 74 protons and 74 electrons. We'll talk about it in a later video. The x-rays which come out of that tungsten plate in this image are shown as waves, those red waves that you see there. Uh, and uh, the x-rays are called as electromagnetic waves because they are like light, very much like light, except that they have much higher energy than light. So electromagnetic waves behave as both waves and particles, so you can call them photons as well. In this uh, animation, I would like to show you a representation of how x-rays get emanated or emitted from the tungsten plate. You can see groups of waves coming out of high energy from the tungsten plate. Those are the electromagnetic waves. They can also be called photons. And these high energy waves can pass through the human body which is why x-rays are used for certain medical purposes such as finding fractures of bones and so on. It's worthwhile, while talking about high energy and all that, to look at where does the energy level of an X-ray fall in the overall picture. So below the uh, overall picture, you have visible light on the left hand side, which has got the minimum energy. And on the right extreme, you have the gamma rays, which have the highest energy. So the energy is related to the wavelength. So the lower energy waves have longer wavelengths and the higher energy waves have shorter wavelengths. So moving from left to right, from visible light, the UV rays, soft X-rays, then the hard X-rays and the gamma rays, you can see that the hard X-rays have very high energy and they will have the short wavelength. I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks and have a great day.